Я буду баллотироваться в должность президента. Countdown for Russian presidential poll begins. Moscow to vote for next president. From serving over two decades as president to rising as a strong man of Russia. Here's all about Vladimir Putin. Putin has ruled Russia for over two decades and one wonders how Vladimir Putin, who was once a spy, has reigned for this long and what has gone in curating his image as the longest reigning president of Russia. And now, the Russians are all set to vote in another election, but less drama is expected. With most opposition figures either in jail or abroad and many independent media outlets blocked, Vladimir Putin maintains tight control over the country's political system. Putin started his career by serving in the KGB, a secret intelligence service agency. After 16 years of service, he returned to Russia and saw a great political uprising. By December 1991, the Soviet Union no longer existed. In its place, there were 15 independent countries, including Russia. Russia suddenly went from a highly controlled communist economy to a country that lives at the mercy of the free market. A section of the society got super rich by securing Soviet state's assets at a very cheap prices. The common man faced a very hard time and the living standards were severely affected. From working under the mayor in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, Putin quickly climbed the ladder in the political arena. In August 1999, he was appointed Prime Minister of Russia. A month later, a string of apartment bombings killed around 300 people. The government blamed Chechen separatists and Russia responded by invading Chechnya. Russian people reportedly saw Putin as the guy in charge and his popularity soared. In contrast, the then president Yeltsin was reportedly seen by people as a puppet of the West. On New Year's Eve 1999, Yeltsin stepped down and named Putin as the acting president of Russia. Between 2000 and 2004, Putin made a lot of bold decisions. First, he revamped the Russian constitution and challenged the economic injustice in the society. Reportedly went after the oligarchs as many of them were charged with tax invasion and fraud. In 2004, Putin was elected as a president. The victory in the election was seen by many as an indication of a strong popular support for the then Russian leadership and its policies. Slowly in this period, the Russian economy started to get back on track. The prices of oil and other big Russians export grew immensely. This paved the way for Putin's comeback in March 2007 with an overwhelming majority of seats. But an unusual twist in 2008 forced Putin to step down and choose Dmitry Medvedev as his successor. Dmitry won the presidential election and Putin was announced to be the chairman of the United Russia Party. Though he did not hold the office of president for the following four years, he held de facto control over the country's executive. The constitutional amendment in 2008 extended the presidential tenure from four to six years. This made him constitutionally eligible to run again 
and Putin was elected president in 2012 and then re-elected in 2018. His term was characterized by a largely successful effort to stifle the protest movement. Opposition leaders were jailed or assassinated in broad daylight. Putin reportedly also felt that the West was trying to change the government in Russia. He found ways to reassert Moscow's powers. Soon Kremlin started to invade former Soviet territories. It started with invading Georgia in 2008, then Ukraine in 2014 when Russia annexed the Crimean Peninsula. The annexation of Crimea changed Putin's image at the global level. So, in 2020, he again made constitutional amendments which will allow him to run for president twice more. This means he could continue to reign until 2036 if elected. In the 2020 amendment, the Kremlin proposed to extend the presidential term limits. Previous version of the constitution would have required him to step down in 2024 as it wouldn't allow a president to run for the third consecutive term in office. Putin's image underwent a significant transformation before and after the Ukraine war in 2022. The Kremlin's decision invited strong criticism from the world, especially from the West. Russia's relationship with the West reached arguably its lowest point and since then, Russia has been hit with a slew of economic sanctions. These economic sanctions placed significant stress on the Russian economy in the first year of the war. The inflation rate jumped from 6.7% to 13.8% in 2022. Russia's GDP fell 3% to 4% in the first nine months of the war. But some countries like China have been somewhat willing partners for Moscow. China has refrained from issuing the economic sanction against Moscow. And this has made the Russian economy less vulnerable to sanction from the Western countries. The impact of sanctions was also short-lived. According to report, the approval rating for Putin and his administration was 83% in May 2022, much higher than December 2021, which was 65%. Reportedly, in 2023, Russia's economy grew by 3.6%. These numbers were forecasted by the Russian government itself. In November 2023, he also reportedly approved changes to the law that will curtail media coverage of the current presidential election. The amendments prohibit the media from reporting on the commission's action at the military base. They also reportedly barred the publication from taking content from restricted website and social media services. The question remains, what's next? for Putin after the possible re-election as president. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.